All right, flat rate mechanic here, and uh, today we're gonna program a Ford uh, PCM or the the computer. First, we're actually gonna be deleting the tune out of the PCM before we do the reflash, because um, the reflash probably will not be successful. You could run into problems if you try to reflash over an aftermarket tune. Um, on this, we're actually doing this on a Ford F250 with a six liter. Um, we're going to be using the factory board um, scan tool software here to do the program and as you can see here's the vehicle information um, that we're actually doing it on here we got a Ford Super Duty um, direct injected turbo motor 6.0 liter automatic diesel so um, we actually had some codes let me go ahead and uh, I'll show you what we had and give you a quick little idea of the tool here too but um, we went into self test here and oh actually uh, I'm not going to be able to show you this right now because I have the tuner installed so let's go ahead and get this tune um, uninstalled so we can do the program uh, and as you can see if you look under the hood through the crack right there I have a little trickle, trickle charger on the battery so um, you don't want the battery going dead while we're doing this um, so we're gonna go ahead and go to program on here and we're just gonna hit return to stock and on this he's on this program he's actually using the live wire TS uh, so we're just gonna return to stock boom and he is on continue Press continue to confirm to return to stock. Yes. Right, we're going to turn the key off. Key is off. Turn the key on. Key is on. Alright, so now it's riding over the stock uh, ECM data back into the computer. Bear with me here. Right. Do not turn key off or disconnect device. Alright, so now it's actually um, writing over the transmission control module as well. Back to stock. Yeah, and the factory um, scan tool software I'm using is the Ford IDS. Which I'm sure a lot of the um, a lot of technicians out there are familiar with, but it's a, it's a factory laptop uh, for diagnostic software. That's what we're going to be using to program or reflash this computer. Um, the re reason we're reflashing the computer is there was a service bulletin on some codes we had, which I will um, show you here once we get this scan tool hooked back up. Alright, download has been complete, tune has been programmed successfully to the vehicle. Turn the key off. Key is off. And let's hit done. Done. Alright, so we're all good there. Um, I'm gonna go down underneath here. We have, this is a, uh, the interface that we're going to be using for the four this just plugs in the obd2 um, port but i had to wait i had to unplug the programmer because we had the pl programmer plugged in there so i'm going to plug this back in to the diagnostic port here and here we go 
and hopefully we can re-establish communication with the scan tool without any issues. So let's go ahead and see if we can get codes. I'll turn the key back on. Show you guys what codes we had. Alright, yeah, we're gonna have to reconnect this device here. Alright, there we go. So we're all connected, and this one's actually wireless. Um, we, I just got a little dongle in the um, laptop port that communicates with the uh, inter interface. All right, so down here you can see we got a couple PCM codes that have actually changed since I removed that program. Um, we've got a couple different other codes here, so, but the codes we had before were for the, uh, accelerator position sensor, and probably when we took that old tune out, it erased all those codes, so, we're just gonna go back, um, go back, and I'll show you guys how we're gonna reflash this computer, we're just gonna go to, um, module programming, um, we got a couple diff different options. We got uh, program module installation. We'd be using that if we were replacing the module. We're not. Um, then they, it would just have you pick which module. Um, we're just going to go to module programming. And we are going to go to um, powertrain control module. And what it's going to do is it will actually automatically check to see if... Uh, is calibrated and as you can see here it says a later calibration is available do you want to program PCM with it and we do so that's what we're gonna go ahead and do right now yeah and as it says here ensure battery is in good condition and all accessories are turned off so and like I said I had the uh, had the charger, the trickle charger hooked up to it just to make sure that we don't um, drain the battery while we're doing this reflash on the computer. Alright, I already did the self test. Let's go ahead and continue. Continue. It's actually going to go through and perform a few tests before we, before it does a program. All right, sorry about that. I had to pause the video for a minute, but we are back to the. Um, it ran a self test real quick just to see what codes were in there. Um, we went ahead and cleared them. Um, it asked me to shut the key off. And it says, please read the following carefully. Do not start program session with a low battery in the vehicle and or program tools. The fuel pump and engine cooling fans may run during the following procedure. If you are programming 6.0 your diesel FICM, you must remove, it must be removed before programming. And we are not programming that, so. Um, let's go ahead and continue here. Just gonna tick the mark, tick mark. Okay, I'm gonna turn the key on. Key's on. All right. The programming is in process. All we gotta do is wait. 
Yeah, and this uh, Ford software is connected to the internet, so that's how it's able to determine if, um, you know, the calibration is up to date. So, basically when we go into the program module, it will automatically detect whether or not the module needs to be updated or not. So that's what we've done here. Um, we're going to turn the ignition key off. Click the tick mark. And also, we're, the reason we were getting that, we had a couple of PO400 codes for EGR circuit. This um, particular engine has an EGR delete. So what the tuner does is it actually um, tunes those out of the computer. And so it doesn't set codes. So once we get done doing this reflash, we're actually going to um, reinstall the um, tune. The performance tune. So switch the ignition key off again. Tick mark. Turn it on. Tick mark. Off. It's off. Take them out. On. Take them out. I don't know why it's having us do this so many times. Off. On. Alright, and that pretty much does it for um, this program. I believe we should be all set here. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, exit out of here. We're going to start this thing up and we should be good to go. Um, we're going to basically just reinstall that old factory tune, just as I showed you. Just as, the same way we um, uninstalled it, basically. That's relatively easy, but I um, hope this was a good overview. Oh, actually, sorry, it's actually going to go ahead and go ahead and do a reprogram on the TCM as well. So, I'm not sure why it had me do the key cycle for the ignition so many times. Usually, they only do that um, a couple times. Well, usually, with the reflashes, they're relatively quick. If we were actually doing a reprogram, um, these can tend, they can tend to take... Uh, quite a while but these ones are typically not too bad but I guess we'll go ahead and finish this thing out and see if we are successful all right um, let's see if it makes us do this a million times again Tick mark off. Tick mark calibration has been loaded and checked. Okay. If your programming is six hundred D, please reinstall the relay. We are not so. Tick. All right. If required, obtain. PCM programming label and complete with the following data. A programming label is not required on the vehicle service in North America. Okay, we do not need a program label for this one, so we are all set. We're going to go ahead and tick, tick mark. Okay, start the engine and do not depress the throttle. Let's go ahead and do that. Good sign. It started. Let's go ahead and take it. Alright, now it wants us to turn the ignition off. Click. 
on. Tick. Clear and fault code. Hang in there guys, I know this is kind of a lengthy uh, lengthy uh, overview here, but I wanted to basically show you guys the complete process of actually programming or reflashing these computers and what it takes. So, Alright, and we are done. It brings us, brought us back to the programming menu here. As you can see, um, the vehicle runs. So now uh, we're going to go ahead and reinstall our aftermarket tune. And um, this guy should be good to go with a recalibrated TCM and a recalibrated engine control module for some accelerator pedal concerns that he was having. But thanks for watching this video. Hope it was helpful for you guys. And um, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the Flyway Mechanic and uh, give this video a good thumbs up. Till next time.